the chance to put a stake in the ground saying, hey, we're the best team in the league right now. One of these teams is going to come away with that level of confidence. And tonight, it'll be the Charlotte Hornets going up against the Houston Rockets. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. All right, a chance to check out stats for him. And it's part of the normal ups and downs of a season, but you can see that his field goal percentage has suffered in the past 10 games. But it's not going to damage their trust in him. They know what he's capable of. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. At the guard positions, Van Fleet and Green. The post pair form, it'll be Smith and Shengun. And it's Brooks in at the three, the small forward. And for Charlotte, they've got Mr. Incredible. Miracle Man is out there with the Prophet. Then it's Big Smooth, and it's the Professor in at the two guard. Now here is Smith. Here's Van Vliet. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Well, thinking back to last year, the first ever NBA Cup, the Lakers beating the Pacers in the final 123-109. And LeBron James was named MVP of the tournament. And Anthony Davis went off in the final, 41-20. and 20. For the Pacers, yes, they lost that championship game, but the experience was huge for them. And I think it really helped them with a deep playoff run. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Van Vliet. Game against Oklahoma City, very impressive. Here's the professor. Puts one up from 19, and it goes down two points. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Green left side. Cranes the three-pointer. Green knows that he needs to take and make threes at a good clip. Nice shot there. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Caught up with Coach Charles Lee. I asked him how they plan on bottling up Jalen Green. Now, he said we have to try and stay in front of him and protect the rim. Jalen is an explosive athlete and an incredibly crafty finisher around the basket, so keeping him out of the paint won't be easy. Guys, back to you. Thanks, David. And here's the break. Deflects the pass. Now here's Van Vliet. He's guarded closely, takes the three, and there's Green on the assist by Smith. Green's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Houston. Here's the professor, covered by Van Vliet, and he finishes nicely on the way. Now they can't miss four for four and warming up the burner. And here's Green outside, and again it's the Rockets from deep. Shooting four or five to start the game, that's got to be a feel good. Hornets trail by three. Here's Mr. Incredible driving to the basket, and he bangs it home with one hand. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Here's Green. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end one, and this time, they're not backing off. Great open look there. And it's seven points for the professor. They are on fire, just in a great groove here early on. Van Vliet passes to Smith. This quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Trills the three-pointer. Supreme confidence. Smith really stretches the floor with his ability to shoot. GA, if you look back at the Rockets' history, so many all he's checked in for the profit. Greg, what's the key thing Fred Van Vliet brings to this offense? I feel like he's really a centering presence, Kevin. Hey, the guys can look to him to call the play, to give them their order, then trust that he's setting them up for success. 
Here's the professor, covered by Van Vliet. The professor, right over the deep. The professor's got nine. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Green finds Van Vliet. And some nice passing there by Houston. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Here's Shengu. It's tipped. They recover it. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Hornets have gotten off to a tremendous start. 7-7 seven of seven here in the first quarter. Foul in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Here go. You compare a game like this to playoff-level intensity? I mean, how close is it? Not much difference on the floor. I mean, these guys are going at it. I think the main difference is the crowd. Obviously, a bit more balanced in terms of rooting interest than we would see in the postseason. How about five straight made from the field to start? Smith outside. Pass to Green. A three ball. Can't get it to drop. Made three. Missed two from the field. Here's Van Vliet. That's tipped. Here's Big Smooth. Brooks covering. Here's Mr. Incredible. Hits it from three-point range. Mr. Incredible's got 11 points. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And we've got a timeout called from Ime Yudoka. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. The prodigy, he's checked in for the Hornets. Houston with a big group substitution here. Adams, he's checked in for Shengu. Tari Eason comes in for Smith. Cam Whitmore, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And Amen Thompson subbed in for Jalen Green. Now here's Van Vliet. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. Good on the triple. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Here's the professor, and the layup falls. 13 points in the game. Uh, you can tell right now the teammates are scanning the floor to find him and feed him. Why not? He's on it right now. Thompson, and plenty of contact. Free throw attempt on the night. Yeah, and the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. Here's the professor. Come on. Oh. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Rockets trail by four. Shoots from the elbow. And it's Houston with another. And what a tool for Van Bleet to have. We, we know he is great driving it. So when he's using the pull-up, it's really effective. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Kevin, the Rockets are making progress. Coach Ima Doka said it doesn't happen overnight. Changing habits and things like that takes time. Guys learn and grow at a different pace. My thing is getting us all on the same page. We're not that far off. Kevin, they sure look like they're building in the right direction. David, they are, and some good vets have helped as well. And we thank you for that report. Punch and counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Who's going to miss first every time one team scores, the other team right back at you? And Adams sends it back. Well, he can be intimidating. Steven Adams, such a big frame down there and great timing on that block. A chance at a two for one if they want it. If I'm them, I try it. Van Vliet passes to Adams. Adams sets the pick for Thompson. Back to Adams. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Grace. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. And now a six-point Charlotte lead. Here's Van Vliet. 11 points in the game. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first. And he's got his first. Fred Van Vliet is that player. He can outsmart guys who have on paper the advantage. Here's the prodigy and Charlotte again with the bucket. And you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to but not him. 
near the three-point line. It's Van Vliet. And so is Charlotte with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Second quarter. And when you consider how Charlotte is doing, guys, what do you think? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that. Oh! players would give anything for that kind of vertical. But he's not giving it away. He wants to keep it all for himself. Maybe we should call the maintenance crew. He's trying to tear the rim. So each of these teams will play an extra game during the season. But hey, you ask these guys and they don't mind at all. Bridges is checked in for Nick Richard. Well, Adams has his struggles at the free throw line, but he's making strides in that area and still has work to do. Thompson passes to Adams. Eason with it. Defended by Bridges. Pass to Whitmore. Here's Green. Adams with it. And some nice passing there by Houston. And a wide open look for Whitmore. Sinks the triple. Whitmore's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Here's the kid. That one's in his first shot this game. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Nuggets trail by nine. Green deciding where to go with it. And it's blocked. Pass to Whitmore. Now Easton. And here's Thompson. Just five on the clock. Screen by Adams. Houston needs to get a shot. Easton gets a wide open look. And another three for Houston. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Big smooth the pass to the kid. Here's the prodigy. Oh! And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a sweat for Bridges. And the professor subbed in for the prodigy. Houston also making some changes. Shen Goon's checked in for Steven Adams. And it's Dylan Brooks in for Whitmore. And the shot goes in. Brooks has got his first two points of the night. He doesn't take a lot of time to make up his mind. Brooks always thinking ahead. And he's in position before the pass is made. Here's Grace. Sinks the three-pointer. Remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch. And now those big guys are everywhere. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That is his first foul. Of the Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Bobbed up there for Green, an emphatic LU jam. Just hanging in the air that time. Green with some terrific bounce. Here's the professor shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. The Hornets shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Brooks outside. Back to Green. Launches it from deep. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Green's got 14. And we see this all night. Green with a wide range of ways to score. And boy, he just keeps coming. Shots good by Grace. Well, you can see it's a matter of pride out there for these guys. Not always the best scenario, but in this game, pride takes over. You score on me, I'm going to come back and score on you. Back to Green. Six on the shot clock. The three. And another three for Houston. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Well, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown. Oh, yes, sir. 
He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Down low, here's Shingun. And Shingun throws it down. Even athleticism, Shingun still able to play above the rim. Here's the professor, headed by Green. The professor, good. The professor's got 21 in the game. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Thompson passes to Green. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Pass to the Prophet. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Outside, Green. Shingun. And Shingun throws it down. Great timing and a really good read there from Shingun. Spaces the floor and is rewarded. And so it's Charles Lee calling timeout. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. And some changes here for the Hornets. The prodigy comes in for Big Smooth. And it's Mr. Incredible in for the kid. And then for Houston, Smith comes in for Jari Eason. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Jalen Green. Here's the professor. An easy two points on the lane. 23 points in the game. Here's Van Vliet. He's got 13. Smith outside. Back to Van Vliet. It's blocked. Here's the professor. Pass to the prodigy. Six to shoot. Two minutes remaining. The tray. Good on the three-point shot. The prodigy's got the lead up to 11 now for the Hornets. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. And some nice passing there by Houston. Smith, the pass to Shengu. Puts it up from 12. The prodigy with the rebound. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy they game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to Shengun. Van Vliet outside. Shengun with the screen for Van Vliet. Back to Shengun. And Shengun throws it down. Great pass by Van Vliet. His first job on this squad is to facilitate. And now that we have a quarter, and it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. Van Vliet looking around. Takes a three. The Hornets pull it in. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington. They'll face the Wizards. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Thompson outside. Shengun kicks to Van Vliet. Thompson outside. Shengun with the screen for Thompson. Stolen. And here's the fast break. Here's Grace. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Now Van Vliet. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one fall. Van Vliet's got 15. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. You've got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up 
in that situation. And so we conclude the first half. When it's on top, up by 15. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Welcome, everybody. Tonight is what we've been waiting for, man. This is really the biggest game thus far in the season. The thing we already know, there are some great players pulling in votes so far. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. Disappointing as a player to have such a... How he facilitates their offense. Just a terrific decision maker. So many times it's with the extra pass, and man, he's delivering. On the wing, Green. Back to Van Vliet. Taking a look at the Rockets. The forwards for him will be Brooks and Smith. At the guard position, Van Vliet and Green. And it's Shangun in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Jalen Green has shown he's capable of carrying a team offensively. He said, it feels good knowing that my teammates believe in me to do that. I had to learn a lot of things to grow, but that's what I work for. I want to be one of those guys that you give the ball to in crunch time. Kevin, I always want to give the mic to you in crunch time. Back to you. David, you are an unselfish playmaker, and I appreciate that. By the way, Green can be electric and so fun to watch. Hey, D.A., thanks. Green passes to Shengu. Back to Green, and Green slams it in. And once Green gets the ball there, not much you can do to fix it. Incredible for his age, the decision-making of Shengun GA is very impressive. So calm when he sees a double coming. Reads and reacts with ease when he's on the block or at the nail. Reminds of one of these players. So get your guesses in now for who that MVP will be. I know who I'm going with, but I don't want to spoil it. Brooks, left side. Van Vliet, outside. Top of the key. No good that time. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Shots good by Mr. Incredible. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Brooks with no one around. Hanson and Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Mr. Incredible. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And that kind of sums up how this game is going. Uh -huh. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead. And here we go, baby. It is showtime. That one drops for him. Van Vliet's got 24. Oh, tricky play by Van Vliet to beat the close coverage. Slipping pass there for the finish. Let's pause for just a moment to see Rockets making a change here as well. Eason's checked in. Their usual strong work at the line has been on display here tonight. But then again, they almost never have an off night at the strike. Back to Green. Pass to Brooks. Now, here's Shangu. And some nice passing there by Houston. And it's blocked. Stolen by Van Vliet. Here's Eason. Misses from short range. Charlotte leading by 14. Mr. Incredible to pass to Miracle Man. Here is Mr. Incredible. Part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Van Vliet outside. Back to Green. Lock at six. From downtown. That's good from Van Vliet on the assist by Green. 
Green's got his third assist on the night. Here's the professor. Oh, he just jams it right over Shingun! Wow! He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. And the professor picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. For the Rockets, Adams comes in for Shangun. And Amen Thompson subbed in for Jalen Green. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. And stolen by Eason. Brooks, the pass to Adams. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Brooks has got three assists in the game. Hornets leading by 13. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets... He might be able to put this thing out of reach. So this is going to be a huge stretch coming up. Rockets trail by 15. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got 27. Two minutes in the game on the third. Two minutes. Brooks outside. Four on the clock. Tops in the bounce pass. It's stolen. Fast break now for Charlotte. That one good for two. Big smooth. Got his first pass. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Van Vliet with the bucket. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. That's the miracle, man. And it's Brooks in the corner. And another three for Houston. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. The prodigy, he's checked in for the Hornets. The kid comes in for the professor. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Whitmore, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. Basket counts. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Van Vliet outside. Screen by Adams to the inside. Fires it up and foul on the shot. Taking two shots. Substitution on the court. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Inside. Here's Eason. And the dunk by Eason. And you can always count on Van Vliet to make the right play. He doesn't make too many bad decisions when he's got the ball in his hand. Oh! Yeah. Wow. And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg. That is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. Maybe even a question mark. Here is Mr. Incredible. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. Team is pumped up. And so is Charlotte, looking at a 13-point lead, heading into the next quarter. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Well, we're close to crowning the 2024 NBA Cup winner. Final quarter here on 2K Sports. We've got the Wizard. Get out there with the Professor. Then it's the Prophet. And it's the Prodigy in at the three spot. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Green, no luck. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a... Oh! oh. You have to prevent him from getting to the paint. Uh, unless you want to see a highlight. And so Green will bring it up for Houston. Trailing by 17. Hangs home the trifecta. Green's got 24 points. 
And because Green is able to blow past defenders, they guard against that. So he just stops on a dime and pops. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Rockets trail by 16. Let's it go from the wing. And that one off the back of the rim and in. He's got 26. And you can tell Green is a competitive player. Willing to put in the sweat to find looks. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the tip. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. God, he threw that one down. Adams, one of the fiercest competitors in the league. Got it. And he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. From deep, Green drills it from outside. Green's got eight here in the quarter. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Adams finds Whitmore. Green left side. Got a hand on it. They retain position. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's the professor. Oh! Oh. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting. And the professor picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And it seems each season more things can be subject to video review. Uh, are you a fan of that, Greg? You know, I'm a fan of keeping the game moving. I'm not sure I'd get rid of review, but I sure would like the league to find a way to speed them up. Miracle Man, who's checked in for the Hornets. And a switch here also for Houston. Brooks checked in for Cam Whitmore. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power for it, but outstanding and rising up off the ground. Adams brings the double team. Here's the prodigy. Brooks covering. Five to shoot. Here's the kid, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. The ball goes to Houston. And a look now at the Hornets' upcoming schedule. On Thursday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Washington Wizards. And then on Friday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Philadelphia 76ers. And looking at this stretch for them, I think they should have no problem dispatching most of their opponents if they can avoid that pitfall of playing down to the level of the competition. But that's easier said than done. And there's the foul. It goes on Mr. Incredible. That's foul number two for him. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. Rockets trail by 15. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. And the professor pulls it down. Well, professor's got rebound number five here tonight. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand. And he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. It's Brooks on the wing. Smith for three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. Brooks has got his fourth assist in this one. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Van Vliet up top. Out to Smith. There's the triple. Ah, the rebound by Big Smooth. 
here is Mr. Incredible, covered by Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet, second personal foul, first team foul. The more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Pass to Smith. It's good from Van Vliet on the assist by Smith. Van Vliet's got 35 in the game. And unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his size. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Over to the wing. Sheng Goon with a wide open look. Knocks down the three ball. And Sheng Goon knows when you don't have the ball, you have to stay ready to catch and fire. Here's the professor. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness in it. Van Fleet with it. Six to shoot. Here's Shengu. And it's blocked. Here's the profit. Fouled on the shot and picks up two everywhere. Well, Kevin, it's because you love to eat so much and the restaurants are nearby, so walking distance helps. But yeah, it, it invigorates uh, the city. You have people clamoring to get to the arena, to get out of the offices early, and it really brings the community together. So you love to see that kind of energy and buzz around any NBA stadium. And, and all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect the rebound. Shot's good by Grace. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Thompson, left side. And Holiday has it in the corner. Adams sets the pick for Holiday. Shoots over ball. Holiday gets the bucket. 44 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kid. He's covered by Thompson. And they get it back. Moves back up. Here's ball. And then ball slams it in. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A yeah, huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And he's been passive today, but maybe that's what he needs to get him going because for them to be successful, he's got to be a little more selfish. Here's the prodigy, lays it up off the glass. Finishing strong, this is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. And they've done it! What a moment for this team to lift that NBA Cup over their heads. Pure glory. It was a memorable journey to get to this point. A, a battle every step of the way. And you have to think this is a huge confidence boost for them moving forward. It proves they're ahead of the curve.